the struggle for women's equality is not simply something to be read about in the pages of your history books. It continues to be the fight of our lifetime. Women's ability to get basic health care, our right to make the most deeply personal decisions, is facing the most significant threats in recent memory. This administration has rolled back access to reproductive health services at home and around the world, and proposed cuts to international health development and diplomacy that put both women's lives and our national security at risk. And even in places like New York, which is home to some of the leading healthcare institutions in the world, we are in the midst of an epidemic of maternal mortality, which disproportionately affects black women. I've said for a long time <laughs> that advancing the rights of women and girls is the great unfinished business of the 21st century. Kavanaugh is going to reverse Roe v. Wade. I have no doubt. Gorsuch is going to reverse Roe v. Wade. I have no doubt. So what do we do? Protect ourselves. Pass a state law that is a prophylactic from the federal action, and that means pass Roe Reproductive Health Act and the Contraceptive Care Act. So I want to take it a step further. And I want to pass this year a constitutional amendment that writes into the Constitution a provision protecting a woman's right to control her own reproductive health. We'll pass it next year. We'll put it on the ballot. We'll write it into the Constitution. And we'll be able to say we have protected women's rights in a way no one else has before. That's what we're going to do this year. Thank you and God bless you.